All right, so this is gonna be um, the next vlog in my sequence. Uh, doing it a little bit differently. I'm tired of the terrible audio and video from my laptop. So this is my phone, which is a Note 8, which is gonna take fantastic video, even in this terrible light. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I'd probably be a little bit shakier because I'm holding it, but oh well. So right now, it is, oh, see, last time I had the date in the corner of my computer, so it's really easy to know. December 19th, uh, and it's like 6.30. So December 19th, 6.30, that's when I'm doing this one. Uh, it's been a little while since I did the last one. I think it's been like, I don't know, a couple weeks. Uh, not a whole lot's really been happening. Uh, I've been very stressed about work, really trying to work hard and uh, get back in a place where I'm not going to get fired because that'd be good. Um, but I've had a lot of thoughts uh, and a lot of ideas um, and some things that could actually be pretty cool. Um, so I figured that I would make another one of these and uh, upload it with the new ideas. So sorry if it looks like I'm looking away. If I look at my screen, my camera is up there. So there might not be a whole lot of eye contact. We'll see how that goes. Um, so where I'm at now in my life. Uh, so obviously Christmas is coming up. It's only six days away. So that's exciting. Um, and I have from this Friday, the, let's see if today's the 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd. So I have the 22nd to pretty much the first off, uh, the second actually off. So it's a big span of time. I'm going to be using up the last of my, um, yearly paid vacation. So, cause I lose it if I don't. Uh, so I'll be paid for all of that, which is kind of nice. So I'm really trying to work hard, get my pipeline, uh, my sales pipeline in a good place um, so that I can take that time off without, you know, screwing myself in the um, beginning of the year. Uh, job's been rough, honestly. I'm not hitting my goals still. I'm doing even worse than before. Um, but it's just a terrible time of year to um, to get people to spend. I thought that Q4, all of Q4 was the best time, but... Turns out it's only like the first two months, like October, November, because by December, people are busy. They're not looking to switch anything up. Uh, so it's really tough to get people um, to close. So luckily, I'm not the only one, um, but because I haven't hit goal at all, it puts me in a pretty bad spot. So uh, we'll see how uh, January goes. I'm really hoping that January can kind of turn things around and I can start making a little bit more money and actually start bonusing. Uh, I mean, we'll see, you know, hopefully it goes well. Um, I mean, if not, I gotta make some serious life changes or I'm gonna be real broke real fast. Um, but I had a couple cool ideas. So uh, the first one is the most recent um, and something I'm actually pretty excited about. Um, so a little while ago, I made Damia Sanders, my sister-in-law, uh, Levi's wife. It's still weird, it's, it's not super long since that's happened. Uh, I made her tree, um, Kind of, it's like a display tree. So it's a stand and it's got six basically circular shelves. It looks like a tree that she decorated. It looks amazing. And it was just kind of a Pinterest idea. I think I mentioned this in one of my other vlogs, so I'm not sure. Um, but I mean, that was a ton of fun. I really, really enjoyed that. And it was a lot of fun for me to um, design something from the ground up um, and really uh, you know, create a whole new thing. Um, so it turns out that my some of my relatives want some, um, but they want them to be kind of collapsible, which is an idea that I was fiddling with. Um, but I didn't really have the time um, or the resources to put it together in the time frame I was given for Damia's. So hers was kind of a, you know, version one, a V1. Um, so last night, I uh, actually on my phone, because it's the Note 8, I have the stylus, I actually sketched out um, a whole new plan um, for the tree that'll make it fit in a small box. So you can completely dismantle it, um, disassemble it without any tools, um, and it's in a shippable, shippable box, so I can actually ship it to someone if they need to. Um, as well as store it a lot easier. Um, and that was a ton of fun to, you know, to design that. I really miss um, designing things and, and actually, you know, having that aspect. Um, but it got me thinking, you know, this is something that uh, is a cool idea. A lot of people know about it, but there is literally nowhere to buy it. You know, I, I spend a good amount of time online looking for, you know, a pre-made one and they're just, they're just not there. Um, it's kind of a newer idea. Um, and people are selling plans for some pretty junky ones. Uh, but nothing like what I what I created um, or what I want to create, you know. Um, so I was thinking if I can create that, package it, um, market it well, I could probably sell it um, for a decent amount of money, make a bit of profit off each one, make a little bit of money, uh, which is exciting for me because I've never really made money off of my hobby, which is um, 
you know, building stuff. Um, so it'd be kind of cool. And so that got me thinking, um, you know, I've, I've, I know in one of my earlier ones, I mentioned a lot about Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, this really big idol of mine, kind of an entrepreneur. He always says, find your passion, you know, find what you're good at, focus on your strengths and make money off of it. Um, and I've never really thought that I had a passion, but it turns out, uh, you know, in thinking about it, I love creating, I love building, I love designing. Um, and so my own like studio or my own workshop where I'm making stuff that I can sell, if I can make a living off of that, that would be amazing. You know, <laughs> I know I'm shooting high here, but I'm like, you know, maybe I start with the Christmas trees. Maybe I start, uh, with some other things like my mom suggested, um, cello stands, um, because, if we market them in schools and in um, music shops, I mean, it's just an issue. Cellos are a strange shape. They're large, and usually they end up leaning against something, which is always precarious. Uh, you have paint chipping off. You have Every time you walk, you're rattling it. You have the risk of knocking it over. Um, so a cello stand is, you know, it's a problem um, that, that's, that's fixed by a cello stand. Uh, same with kind of a display. It's a new, it's a fun idea. A lot of times you don't have enough flat surface area to show off your little, you know, Christmas village. So a, a tree is a good idea. And I'm going to make it uh, smaller. Damien's was like six and a half feet. I think it was slightly taller than me. Um, I think I'm going to make like a four foot version because it'll be cheaper, uh, more manageable, um, and easier to make. Uh, so that's kind of my idea there. And then kind of along the lines of that, I was thinking, you know, if I can establish myself as a you know, quality maker um, with like these, these interesting things, then I can, add, I can just slowly add projects, you know, add cool things. Uh, stuff from Pinterest that you can't really buy but is interesting. Um, I can dissect it. I can turn it into dismantleable stuff, kind of like a handcrafted IKEA, <laughs> um, you know, of unique objects. And I can start selling those. And then I was thinking about it. And if I can get, um, you know, metal, a metal lathe. I was watching videos of a guy. Um, he makes rings on the metal lathe. Sometimes he'll actually take a whole um, new material, whole new metal, and you know, cut a cut a ring out of that. Or he'll take just ring blanks and it's inset them with uh, glowing powder and diamond dust and pieces of meteorite, interesting things. They always turn out really cool. And I was watching it and I'm like, you know, I can do that easily. I know exactly how to do that. It's not difficult at all. I just need the tools. Um, when it comes to tools, you know, I do need a pretty good, you know, set of tools, uh, which is a stretch. And obviously, you know, all of this is, I don't know, conjecture, I guess. I'm not making enough money to make this a viable option, really. Uh, when I'm going up to Rexburg, my mom suggested um, that I actually start building some and you know put some out there and just see if there's any interest. And I think that's be that'd be a pretty fun um, and pretty easy start. You know? um, so that's kind of cool, kind of exciting. Um, I'm excited about it. Uh, you know, if if I could essentially replace my day job with my own workshop and my own products, uh, that'd be so cool. You know, as much as I do like the office and I like an office job and dressing up and looking nice. There's just something about that that would be so much fun. You know, I watch a YouTuber called Alex Steele, um, and he started blacksmithing when he was 12 years old. 12 years old. It's absurd. Um, and ever since, he, he never quit. He never gave up. And now he runs an incredibly successful YouTube channel in his own shop where he's blacksmithing constantly and making videos on, you know, new things as he learns new things and new products. He just built a metal foundry uh, to melt metal and cast things. He made his first sword not too long ago. He made a claymore not too long ago, and it's just, it's been fun to watch him, you know, and I'm jealous. I'm like, you know, if I could be that, that would be amazing. Um, and then along with that, um, you know, I could create a, a YouTube channel, and maybe that would take off, or I could include, you know, a video of me making um, that person's specific item with the item. So, so it's, you know, it's a little more special. It's not just an item you picked up off a shelf. You can see someone actually making your specific item, especially the rings. I feel like that'd be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I thought that was just a, a good idea. Um, and, you know, if I get big enough, uh, Levi and Justin can make me a website and I can market it. Erica can help me make a Facebook group. She's good at that. Um, and I could be successful off of this, you know. And I don't think I would ever be rich you know <laughs> like in a sales job you have the potential to be really rich you know if you do well you can make i mean the top seller on my um team is making like 100k a year more than no 200k a year not 100k 200k a year which is absurd you know it's so much money but at the same time money versus happiness you know it's that that old debate that's always been around um i think for me happiness is building working with my hands designing creating 
Uh, it'd be cool to have like a, a page in there where you could submit an idea or you could su you know submit a picture from Pinterest and say, hey, can you build this? And then if it is feasible, not only could I build it for them, but I could also add it to my in inventory and be like, all right, hey, if you want this, I know how to make it. Here's images of the ones I did make. Uh, cost this much money, essentially. Um, so I feel like it'd be a really, it could be a really, really cool uh, thing for me. And then I was thinking, you know, I, I really like, I, I do want an avenue that will make me money unconventionally. That could get, gets into my next idea. Um, but, you know, aside from, aside from, you know, this, because um, not only, let's see, how do I explain this? So it is physical. You know, one of the biggest reasons I quit construction work is because it tears your body apart. You know, you can't sustain it all the way to retirement um, and expect to be in good shape. Um, and even though this would not be nearly as hard on my body as like manual labor, concrete work, framing, that kind of stuff, um, it would still be rough on the body. And so I don't know that I'd be able to sustain it forever, which is why I need kind of a backup or, le or another thing on the side. So my second idea is still real estate. I still plan on doing that. And that would give me a chance, um, you know, to still learn a lot, to use, you know, a lot of my, you know, business knowledge, uh, not just my, um, you know, applicable uh, creation knowledge or, or what have you. Um, and it would give me a chance to really uh, make money because, you know, a lot of the people that I was talking to in the whole real estate game, um, you know, they only work a couple of days a week and they're making a ton of money doing it because they're doing it smart. So essentially what I could do is I could plan my week out. I could make, you know, major money off of real estate and minor money, but more happy money, essentially, off of my own little business. And if I ever needed to uh, stop or if anything happened, I wouldn't be screwed because I'm not making money. Um, I'd still have my real estate going on. So it's kind of a 50-50 way for me to be happy creating and making money as well as, you know, run a business, be have that opportunity to get dressed up, go to events, uh, meet people, talk to people. So I think I need that because I think if I um, if I work in my own shop and that's all I ever do, I don't think I'm going to socialize. I don't think I'm going to make friends or talk to anybody. Um, so real estate would be a way because, it's, you know, it's, it's really a community. It's, um, you know, you have events, you have trainings together with people. Uh, you have actual classes online that you can take as a group. <sighs> so kind of a 50-50. Um, I know the series is kind of a road to success and I've had a lot of ideas. I still kind of want to do management uh, within AdRoll. Right now, it's not looking like that's going to turn out. Um, I'm really hoping January I can turn it around. If not, I'm really going to have to start considering other options, um, you know, of just base employment. Because a lot of these ideas that I have are cool or whatever, um, but they're not actionable. They're not short-term successful. I can't quit my job, you know, to do this. Um, so that kind of that kind of brings me to my other point. So that what I just explained is my most, most recent idea. I did that one first because it's the most, you know, it's the freshest in my mind. It's something that's really um, interesting to me. Um, it's something I'm excited about and can actually act on right now. Um, one last note there: uh, Sierra actually suggested that I um, start a, a Kickstarter or a GoFundMe um, because if I can find people who are interested in it, um, it would it wouldn't take a lot. It wouldn't take a lot of money to set up a shop for me. Um, but it'd be, you know, maybe a good idea. I don't know. Um, but that's kind of the end of that. That's kind of the end of that spiel. Um, my next idea is big and ambitious. And I don't think it's ever going to be a reality. But it's a cool idea, you know. And I wanted to, uh, at the very least, share it. So essentially what that is, is um, a school. I want to found a school. Um, but an unconventional school, essentially, is what it is. There's not going to be a degree. You're not going to be guaranteed anything. You're not going to um, spend four years there. You're not going to spend a ton of money there. Um, it's for unconventional people uh, to make money in unconventional ways. Because, you know, I've spent a lot of time uh, looking at these different things, whether it's MLM, real estate, um, you know, creating your own business, you know, craft supplies, being a reseller of items. Um, you know, a lot of different things that I've looked into to try and make money in a non-typical way uh, because you know I don't have a college degree, I don't have college experience, I don't have um, you know, business experience really uh, so it's going to be tough for me to sustain a life long term. Right now it's fine because I'm single, you know, I have no responsibility, <laughs> all of my money can go directly to me, directly to my bills but you know, essentially, eventually I want a family and I want to a solid career that can support that family and my hobbies and their hobbies and and and, and their their lives essentially. 
So that's why I keep looking. You know, I just keep on looking. I keep looking for different things. I'm always, you know, looking for the next big thing. Um, I, I've never really committed to a single big thing, uh, but now I know they're out there. You know, and if worse what comes to worse, I can really commit to them. Um, and hopefully, you know, worse doesn't have to come to worse. Eventually, I'll be able to commit. And that's what I want to do with real estate. Um, but you know, there's a twenty thousand dollar entrance fee essentially for that. So that's just not in the realm of possibility right now. So I'm trying to think a little smaller to get me there. So essentially what I want to do, um, after I've made a bunch of money, I guess, um, is create a school for unconventional people like myself, people who don't fit into your um, typical uh, mold of, of success. You know, go get good grades in high school, uh, go to college, spend a ton of money, spend four years of your life, maybe six years, however long, get a career, work there essentially until you retire, and then die. I don't fit into that mold. I'm, I'm always moving. I'm always thinking of different things. I'm always... I'm hustling in my mind, if not so much in my actions, um, and so I want to. I want. I want a place for people like me. You know, I've done a lot of research. It's taken me a lot of time to find things um, that I know are successful and work. Um, and so I want to essentially cut that out for people. Uh, so it'd be like a, it'd be a small school. It wouldn't be like a university or anything. Um, it'd be uh, just a very small uh, local school. Um, I would have um, essentially different uh, categories. So. Um, you know, if you want an upper tier category, real estate, twenty thousand dollars. That's a huge investment. It's a serious, um, you know, commitment. And I want to have, I want to hold all the different briefings and things for uh, the Renatus uh, Corporation. And I can't remember what they're called, but there's like there's a, a group here in Utah that um, uses that platform, but has their own little community here um, that really helps them um, get together and work and be successful. So I want to show that to people. Um, and give them the opportunity to get that information and maybe start in the lower tiers um, to make enough money to get up into that higher tier. Um, next tier down from that would be um, you know, MLMs. There's a lot of those out here, especially in Utah. My mom, my mom was saying you know, Utah is the place for MLMs because uh, people just do that multi-level marketing in, in case nobody knows that. <laughs> um, obviously, the biggest one that comes to my mind is Legal Shield. Uh, that's what my dad does. Um, and I really do believe in Legal Shield. I think it's a great... Um, you know, platform, great product, um, and a good way to make money if, if that's your thing and if it works for you. Unfortunately, I don't think it works for me, at least not at this time. Um, but there's a business-to-business -business side of it. There's the, you know, people-to-people -people side of it. There's networking. Essentially, if this school was um, a team, you know, within its, uh, you know, within Utah, whoever's at the top, you know, maybe me because I start it, everyone below me, you know, making, making overrides on them, um, get them to get the... Um, get the memberships, and then basically just everyone build on each other's success. Have have the briefings there, have Super Saturdays there, um, have people talking to each other, uh, sharing success, not only like in a very specific setting where you're paying and it's very clearly a pitch, um, but more of a community that I felt with Renatus than I ever really have with Legal Shield. I'm kind of on a smaller scale. Uh, so I'd really like to do that as well. Um, there are several other MLMs. Um, that I, I would obviously do some research, uh, find out which ones were pretty legit, um, you know, invite them in. And honestly, if I can talk to um, the heads of those companies, the head of Legal Shield, um, not like team head, but I mean like the creator of the actual product, I mean it could be a really good marketing, um, you know, service for them. Uh, a good aspect to show that hey, we're legit, we're in this school, you know. And, and eventually, if, if this school is successful, I'll have people coming to me saying, hey, I have a product, I have an idea, would you like to feature it in your school or whatever? Um, I mean, that's obviously, <laughs> I mean, n n I don't know if that's ever going to happen, but that's ideal. Um, and then within that, you know, after uh, MLMs, those are kind of the biggest two are MLMs and real estate, um, which are a little bit more like uh, college. You know, Renatus has actual classes that you're going through, um, but you apply as you go through. Um, and it's not like you have to have a job. It's like, okay, this is on you, you know. Um, at any point, you can stop. You can start again. You're not going to get fired. Um, how much you make is purely on you. Um, so it's not so much employing people as helping people employ themselves. Um, after that, you know, next tier down uh, would be a smaller, um, more unconventional ideas, I guess, because MLMs and real estate, those are pretty conventional, even though they are unconventional. Um, but below that, you'd have things like um, affiliate marketing. Um, I started looking at something called Wealthy Affiliate. 
Uh, apparently, you make your own website. They help you market things. There's, there's a community classes again. Um, and if I could get in touch with them and have them endorse this, um, it'd be a great place for the people to practice that and create an online business that is successful. I myself haven't gotten into it. Same as with all of these other ones. I do the research. I find out if it's legit. And then I don't ever end up really putting the time into it. Um, but, you know, that's another one. Wealthy Affiliate would be one of them. There's other, other affiliate marketing type things. Um, and maybe even like a class just on web development, you know, for small businesses like my sister, for instance, who um, is a reseller. She buys um, things in, an, in a niche market. She buys them wholesale and then sells them back to um, people uh, at a pretty cheap price, makes a little bit of profit there. Um, if you could have, um, you know, a section of, of small businesses um, and business ideas, that kind of thing. And some help from people who've done it, you know, not business moguls, but just people who've done it, who've created their own website, you know, because there's a lot of niches like that that people just haven't looked at, haven't exploited. And if you can look at someone who's who's done it and really, um, you know, really been successful in it, uh, you know, it gives you hope and it gives you someone to go to and talk with. Um, so that's another one, affiliate marketing, small businesses online. Um, and then I, I want like a section dedicated to... Um, Oh, actually, no, let's let's get into that in a second. Uh, so this is this is sounds like the third tier down. I think is where I'm at. Um, you could also have like YouTube. You know, YouTube is honestly a great platform, um, and p- people who are dedicated can really make a lot of money there. Um, I don't know if that's going to continue to be as easy. Um, I mean, not not saying that it's easy, but I don't know if that's going to be as great of an avenue for new people um, in the future. But as of right now, it still is. Uh, so if you had someone who was like a, a basic editing class um, to show you kind of how to use effects, how to put things together, um, you know, content do's and don'ts, um, maybe spotlight some YouTubers. I mean, a YouTuber would love to come and, and check a place out like this. You know, it'd be a great vlog. Um, so that's another one uh, that I was looking at. And then tier below that, tier four, would be uh, simple tricks, simple tips for making a little bit of extra money on the side to fund your business. Um, Gary Vaynerchuk does a lot of that kind of stuff. Uh, one thing he does is um, garage selling. So he'll go in early on Saturday, um, spend a ton of time just researching um, prices of items on eBay. And then he'll buy up um, you know, those successful products um, at garage sales for super cheap, resell them on eBay, make a little bit of money that way. Um, one thing I was thinking is to apply that to thrift stores um, like DI and some other thrift stores. You, know, you can find some really good gems there. Uh, that you could you could sell really well, um, you know, at a higher price, at a profit. So that's kind of a good idea as well. Um, other simple things section created to. Oh, I just got a notification that says video file max reached, creating another video or something. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep going. We'll see what happens. Um, so, oh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I want to have another section that's dedicated to um, cryptocurrencies. I mean, Justin, he invested, I think, $500, and he's now up $2,000 uh, simply because he understood cryptocurrency. And, and how many of us really understand that? I don't know if that'll be um, – it might, it might be even bigger at that time. Um, my biggest worry with cryptocurrency is that so many people, because of Bitcoin, think of it as a get-rich-quick scheme, that they're buying it to make money and not because they believe in what it's used for. And if people are buying it and not using it, you're going to have a surplus and it's not going to be worth anything. Um, so I don't know. It would be kind of cool to have um, a section dedicated to that, to, to different cryptocurrencies, um, to see kind of um, what we can do there. Um, and then just, I don't know, there's a whole bunch of, of different ways. I want to just continue researching. I always do. Um, and the more, the more things I find, the more stuff I can put in there. Uh, funding from it would come from... Um, <laughs> You know, companies uh, like Legal Shield, uh, multi-level marketing companies, Renatus, because clearly they're going to make a lot of money off of this. So if they help fund it a little bit, um, especially you know team heads of Legal Shield, they're going to make a ton of money off of it. So they'd probably be willing to put in some money. Um, as far as tuition for the the students, I don't want it to be expensive. I want it to be a realistic option, a doable option, and like a one-year max. You know, because. If you get in and you start looking at a different, um, you know, a couple different options, you find one that really you really like and fits you, and you really dive in. I really think that within a year you should be self-sufficient. You shouldn't really need to, um, you know, be in this community in ourselves. And obviously, we won't like kick them out. We'll have like a full-on um, Facebook page or a website forums dedicated to people talking to other people. Um, 
But as far as paying for schooling and coming every single day or whatever, um, you know, I don't want that to be something that is is overextended. Because you know myself, I went to a year of school and that's that's all. You know, I did I did not want to do any more. And I think if you keep it short, uh, you'll really weed out people who really just need to go to a regular college, um, people who are you know serious about trying to find something new. Um, I I mean obviously I have not crunched any numbers. I don't know how much it should cost, um, but I'm thinking like five thousand dollars a student for a year. Because I think that's doable for most people. Um, you you probably have to finance it or whatever, um, or even just save up. Um, but you know, I feel like that's realistic, and I feel like it can help a lot of people. You know, people like myself who are in this position where they're like, okay, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I don't want to work fast food for the rest of my life. I don't want to work physical labor for the rest of my life. Um, I don't have a degree. I don't want to you know screw myself over. Um, I have a drive. I have potential. I just don't know what to do with it. I want to help people channel that and to, um, you know, make money and be successful, achieve their dreams um, in an unconventional way, um, to not just be a drone um, that's like, you know, everyone else. Um, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with a nine to five job um, or physical labor or anything like that. You know, we need all of those things, and some people are suited to it, and some people aren't. I just think that I'm not one of the people that's suited to it. So, I don't know. Those are the two biggest ideas that I've had recently. Um, I don't know how realistic the school is. I think the personal crafting business could be pretty cool um, and has some potential. At the very least, I can make a little bit of extra money on the side for it. Um, and I don't know. We'll kind of see how it goes. But um, that's the majority of what I wanted to say. Uh, you know, Christmas is almost here. It's been it's been great. It's been a good uh, season. There's still no snow here in Roy, uh, which I'm excited and not excited. I'm excited because I don't really like the snow. I don't really trust my car in the snow. I don't want to get snow tires. I don't have the money for that crap. Um, but also, I kind of want the snow because now I have a rear-wheel drive car with some really good horsepower and a center handbrake, which can mean for a lot of parking lot fun. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> Another thing, I actually downloaded Instagram, um, and I've been posting quite a bit to that. Uh, mostly watch stuff. Uh, I set up really cool pictures, and I um, you know, take them of the different watches I have. I've actually really enjoyed it. I took probably what is my favorite picture that I've ever taken today, posted it up. Um, so that was kind of cool, um, kind of worth worthy of note. Uh, what else? I'm horribly, horribly broke. Uh, it's getting worse and worse. I ordered another $400 credit card. We'll see. Uh, this is the second time it hasn't shown up when it was supposed to, so hopefully I can get that before the new year because I don't know that I'm going to be able to pay all my bills if I don't. So... If things don't get better soon, I'm about to radically redesign my life. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, but yeah, I think that's all. So huzzah. Uh, I guess I can update the time. It's still December 19th. Oh, this watch is hard to read. It's almost 7. So a good 30-minute video here. Hopefully this one's a lot better. I mean, I assume it will be. Audio quality and video quality. Uh, thinking of transcribing these, that's going to take a lot, though, so I don't know about that. Um, but, yeah. Huzzah. End of video. Bye.